All right, I think this will be the last uh, video in the series of the TM500 type of uh, products. Uh, this is a TM503. Uh, it is a uh, three bay, uh, three bay chassis, I guess, chassis, mainframe, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll show you a close up here. But um, it was uh, missing one of its feet. You know, the previous owner took what was on the side and just jammed it in the center. So it's got one foot in the center. It's tri tripod. All right. Um, whoa. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't balance on its, on its one foot. I guess maybe if you put stuff in it, it will. Right now, it doesn't like balancing on its one foot. Um, so they're pretty cool. They have a, a handle on the side, so easy to carry around. Only on one side. I like that. Uh, no feet on the side though, so if you put it down, you scratch things up, but that's okay. And it's got a, uh, a power cord that uh, uh, wraps around the bottom here, so let's unwrap that. Uh, no connector on it, so the power cord is with you all the time. Uh, TM503 power module, patent pending. Interesting. Okay, let's see here, what's on here? And there's a bale, so we can flip the bale, that'll make it photograph better. All right, I haven't tried it out, but I'm assuming it's probably good. Uh, let's see here, is there a power, is there a power switch? Oh, maybe it's a power switch. Yeah, there's no power switch. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's power. Okay, it's got to have a power switch. It's on the, uh, it's on the front. All right. So, um, I'm going to load it up with two things. All right, I'll put this one over here on the edge. And uh, this is my function generator. And I have a new, uh, new plugin today. And like I said, it'll be the last plugin I buy, I think. Famous last words. But this one's super cool. It is an oscilloscope. <laughs> yeah, they actually make a single wide oscilloscope, but it looks kind of cheesy. And uh, I found this one much, much cheaper. So go figure. Um, people really, I guess, like those, uh, those other ones. But uh, this one is uh, 15 megahertz, dual channel, um, same size tube as my 336, my Tektronix 336 that I've showed in other videos. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see, I think I need a, a B and C here. So let me just grab that while I'm in front of the camera. All right, I'm gonna pull the power switch, this on, and I have power there, that's good. And uh, this one, this one's really goofy. Um, this switch here is channel one, channel two, alt and chop, and also power off. So you have to actually turn it to channel one and it'll come on. Look how fast it comes on. I'm amazed at how fast the CRT comes on. Um, so we'll put the output of our generator into the, uh, look at that, beauty, joy forever. All right. Yeah, look at that. So now it could t we could test itself. So <laughs> that's kind of the nice thing about these chassis. Um, if you had like a six wide, you could put all kinds of stuff in there. I, I, six wide is kind of unruly, and I really don't have bench space for it. If I had bench space, I'd put in a, I'd buy a six wide and just kind of populate it with the different things. But uh, yeah, this one's super cool. Uh, we can do uh, square wave, sine wave, ramps. Yeah, all kinds of things there. Let's leave it on triangle. We look kind of like that one. Uh, we can make it go fast. Uh, I think that's as fast as this thing goes. Do I remember what it is? 10 to the fifth times, yeah, so one megahertz. Uh, uh, this is one, this is one megahertz. And let's see here. One microsecond, yeah, one, micro, one microsecond per division. So it looks like it's calibrated pretty well. A uh, tiny bit off, but a hey, for an analog scope, that's about, about all you expect out of it, really. Um, pretty nice. Anyway, you've got two uh, channel one, channel two, or alt. So now we have uh, uh, channel one and channel two, and we can do alt and chop, and channel one minus channel two, of course. Uh, we'll just put it back on a single channel here. Uh, we can go, we can go uncal, we can go to cal, um, 
DC, AC, ground. Yeah, everything you would expect. Um, I tested out, I uh, was playing with it the other day when I got it, and uh, it, seems to, it seems to operate just fine. There's a couple of goofy things about it. <laughs> One is that this knob here, the inside knob for position is channel two, and the little tiny one is channel one. Kind of the opposite that I would think. I would think channel one would be the big one, and the channel two would be the little one, but whatever. Uh, that's kind of a funny little thing. Trigger view. Uh, it does have a trigger view, so you can watch watch what it's triggering a line. Let's tr let's trigger on line. Uh, let's see here. Will it do line? Oh, it won't do line triggering. It'll do auto. Uh, source one, channel. Oh, line is when you push them both in. There we go. Let's see if I could see if I can push them push them both in. Maybe not. I don't know. It says together. It says line. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Now we're syncing on line. Let's tr do trigger view. Uh, let's get out of auto. Are we triggering? Yeah, it's probably just going too fast. Let's change this down. No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, now I've now I've uh, messed things up here. What did I do? What did I do? Now it's not giving me any, any views at all. Let's go back. There it is. There it is. All right. There's an external trigger here, so we could uh, we could say this is our external trigger, and then we could do trigger view and see if we can see it. Uh, I, don't, I, just, I don't know. I'll have to read about that, see, see what trigger view does. Um, if you remember the Kikusui, the trigger view acted the way you think it should act, but this one's a little bit strange. Yeah, I like it. Anyway. Um, Cal, yeah, there's a Cal output here for your scope probe. Um, what else does it have? Single sweep, uh, release auto, release auto, and single sweep. Okay, fine. Um, what else does it have? That's about it. It has uh, intensity and, and focus. It's got a real bright tube on it. Very nice, very nice bright tube. Let's see, can you do A versus B? I don't think you can do A versus B. Uh, let's see, Maybe sometimes that's on the here. Oh, amp, hmm, maybe, maybe amp is A versus B, I'm not sure. Uh, it goes from 0.5 per division to point. Two microseconds per division, and then it has a, a times ten past that. So you can do the times ten thing, right? All right. Um, okay, there you go. This was an SC five hundred two, and like I said, there's an SC five hundred one. That's a single, single channel, uh, single width um, module. Maybe I'll pick one of those up someday if I can find one cheap enough. Um, I think I paid $120 for this one, and I think the single channels were even going for more, which seemed kind of silly. I thought $120 bucks is a pretty good deal for uh, for an oscilloscope. I mean, you have to have the mainframe, but uh, super cute. Uh, I do like it. It'll go well with my. Uh, it'll go well with this one. You can compare the uh, compare the sizes. This one has a much smaller screen than uh, than this one. Looks pretty nice. Maybe I can put a uh, get a print a hood out for this one. I don't know if that uh, 3D print uh, file I found had one for this particular scope or not. Probably not. This one's pretty rare. Pretty rare. Anyway, there you go. SC502, a FG501, and a TM503. Um, so, what is my general impression of the TM series? Um, these two plugins are my favorite for sure. Um, in general, I think that uh, it's a bit fragile. Um, 
like this power connector, the way that it's just the mechanical design and the fragileness of the plastic parts and everything. It just seems like that's um, uh, a, a little bit to be desired. Um, some of the modules aren't very functional. You know, the volt, some of the voltmeter ones are, you know, pretty, I mean, DVMs are better these days. Um, I don't, if, like I said, if you, if you had six instruments or six slots and you needed to populate them for a certain task and you wanted it all self-contained that you can grab it with a handle and carry it around. Yeah. Maybe that would be, maybe that would be interesting. Like maybe this is a nice unit to take, take mobile somewhere. Um, but in general, um, I have to just honestly say, I'm not a really great fan of the, uh, of the TM 500 series. Although, you know, I'm a little bit better now that I've had some that I like, like I do like this plug-in. I do like the, uh, uh, double wide pulse generator. That was another good one. Um, so when I bought the TM 503, it had the double wide pulse generator and it had this, uh, function generator. That's how I bought it all as a unit. Um, and, uh, that was a, that was a good deal. I paid, I paid a good price, a good price for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been fun. And now I know a lot more about Tektronics and, uh, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And let's see how fast it turns on. One sheep, two sheep, two seconds, two seconds. Wow. That's amazing.